So I am painting some shoes today. Sounds weird, right? Um, but it's like this leather paint. Let me show you. Angelus. It says acrylic leather paint, but I'm like, is it just acrylic paint? I don't know. They had all these colors. Um, I was using the red, white, and um, I created this pink out of a big, like half empty white and like a little bit of red that I had. And I got these Doc Martens that were brown like Oxfords for like $16 on Poshmark. And I'm painting them for Valentine's Day. Um, so this is what they look like right now. Let me show you. Actually, let me show you what they look like before and some of the um, painting process, and then I'll show you what they look like now. Okay, and I don't really have any um, laces that are gonna fit in here that are not just brown. Um, and one thing that I noticed too, I haven't worn these in the streets yet, but I have another pair. So this pair I did wear to work. And let me tell you something, this like cracking immediately is not what I signed up for with this leather paint and like the scuffing, like after one wear, I honestly, I'm like, I don't even know if it's worth all of the effort that I put into painting these, but um, I wore them. So this is what it came with, the satin finisher. So when I got done painting, I, I haven't done it on this one yet. This is just the acrylic paint, which I need to put like another coat on this. But um, I when I finished painting these, I wore them around my house and they were not cracking, you know, all day. And then I put this satin finisher on, which literally that's what it says to do, right? Do not apply excessively or rub for a long time. I don't know if I did this right. Anyway, I applied it with a paintbrush and I don't feel like I put it excessively on, but the second I wore it to work, the whole thing just started cracking. So I don't even know if I would recommend putting the um, finisher on or just leaving it. But then I was like, okay, well, is this just acrylic paint and it's just gonna crack or wash off? Like it's gonna be like water, not water resistant or something. I don't know. Why would they make leather paint and not expect that people are gonna put it on their shoes? That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to touch these up again and I'm not sure if I recommend using the satin finisher or not. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that on these. I might, I don't know. I like the way that it makes them like super shiny and look like finished. Also, um, when I was getting close to this edge, I thought that I could just like scrape the paint off of the rubber, but that's not happening. So I'm probably gonna have to paint 
this part. I don't know. <sighs> this is how it's going. I, so I was gonna buy shoelaces on Amazon and I'm too impatient to wait. So we're at Michael's right now. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> So they didn't have a huge selection of ribbons at Michael's. I really thought they were going to. Um, this was in their like regular ribbon, ribbon section. Um, and then these two were in the holiday like Christmas section, which was all 75% off right now because we we're in January. Um, this one is probably too big. So, but I wanted like a sparkly red. They they still didn't have that many options. They like really didn't have what I wanted. I kind of wanted like a metallic, not glittery, but like sparkly red. That was like basically like this texture or something and they didn't have that. Um, so I think I'm leaning towards this one right now as a shoelace, even though it's gonna be like super gaudy. And then this one maybe as a backup but I like I held this one up and it was just like too skinny it wasn't giving the drama that I want but yeah we'll see what happens luckily the laces I can change out even like later on if I decide I want to but
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really happy with how they turned out. I did not end up using the satin finish on this pair. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work like in the real world. Um, I'm afraid they're gonna get like scuffed up. So I might just keep these for like photos or special occasions, obviously. Um, and we'll just see how that goes. But I really like how the ribbon turned out. I wasn't a thousand percent sure on if I liked this ribbon or not. And I mean, I can always change it out later, but I think this is how it's gonna look for now. Thanks for um, joining me on my channel. There's a bunch of links down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.